Well, hello, darling. It's your favorite indigo child, big sis, auntie, and your new favorite person. All my opinion, uncut conversations that will be had here today. All right? So, we are going to cover something sore. A conversation that is more finger pointing than resolution. So instead, I offer you a contrast, not as an explanation of what it is to be a woman on the daily. Um, listen to understand, not to respond. Also, watch till the end for the full picture, okay? Also, be respectful down in the comments. Be mindful. One person's perception does not reflect the group as a whole, okay? So we gonna keep it cute, all right? So let's move right into this video. <laughs> yes, honey. So, this is a video that I have been thinking about doing for a long time now. Um, I've been slowly putting it together, you know, getting all my clips and my facts and, you know, all of the things because I wanted to be uh, socially correct and responsible in how I worded things. You know what I'm saying? I'm often in this particular... Um, conversation you get the pointing of the fingers it's more like well you well you well you and in doing that there's no real um I want to say reconciliation or resolution to any problems there's still just more well you did well you did well you did right so it took me some time to, uh, you know, put into words what um, I wanted to say. And I wanted to be as genuine as possible. Um, you know, not that that's hard because that's me in everyday life. You know what I'm saying? But I did not want to come off as harsh and non-understanding because just because someone does that to you, doesn't mean you should do it to others. So, I hope you enjoy. I hope you get some sort of intellectual value from this video, honey. And tell me how you feel about this topic down in the comments. Please like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell and set that thing to all. So, you'll be notified every time I post. The problem saying that trans women and cis women live different lives and ha and deal with different things because I know if I were a cis woman, shit would be very different for me. Shit would be very, very different for me. I mean, there would just be so many more layers of me that would just be different, you know? I would have a lot of differences, um, you know? So in so many ways, I'm kind of glad that I'm not cis because I like my life. I love my life. I enjoy my life, you know? And there's honestly, there haven't been many times in my life where I could say that, you know? Let's get to it. So lately there's been this uh, talk about the bathroom and how, um, transgender women um, should be allowed. You know, if they, they see themselves as women, then they should be allowed to use the bathroom with bio women, right? Um, I don't think it's sharing the bathroom that has been going on long before. It was brought to the forefront. Here lately, since the cruel joke that was Trump's campaign and his run, honey, it became something people started to pay attention to. 
the predators made it hard for transgender women. Hear me out. They heard, hey, you know they're not going to discriminate. You know what I'm saying? So if I wanted to get into the woman's bathroom being as, as least suspicious as I could possibly be, what would that be to dress up as a female? So now when there's being attacks and, and, and things are happening in bathrooms, to no fault of a transgender person, to no fault to the LGBTQ plus community, but that's what it looks like. And you know, people only understand to their level of perception. So therefore, they're not going to do the, you know, um, critical thinking it takes to break down a situation, right? Now, let's talk about the correlation between the passable situation. Now, back in the day, you had the um, black that could pass for white. They called them passing. And majority of the time, those parents would send them away. Um, you know, to live a better life, to go to school, to um, have a better chance at life. You know what I'm saying? So, um, there's a correlation there between the the trans woman being able to fit into the womanly spaces without being um, noticed or even uh, thought out. You know what I'm saying? And that's a privilege. That's literally something that they feel is a privilege. You know what I'm saying? And you got to think where that that train of thought came from. You have to really sit and wonder why this train of thought exists. Where did it come from? Okay? Um... And then you have the ever-looming question. Why does things have to change? Well, slavery, holocaust, marrying within your family. At one point, all of these things were seen as normal. Okay? And eventually someone said, No ma'am, this is not normal. This is not okay. Honey, we don't need to be doing this. Okay, so things had to change. At some point, things need to change. It cannot stay the same. Like, I understand. How do you expect any type of progression if you don't want change? It makes no sense. Sandy moving right now. To say you want acceptance just makes sense, as it should. After all, as a black woman, I know the struggle to even be seen as a human, more than just a fetish. So our ancestors fought for you to see her, not like you, but like her. And one day, back, telling you it wouldn't sell if you're not naked. And year by year, more clothes came off. Self-love took a backseat to survival. Loving your woman became something. And being forced to take on a role you never should have had to alone made you jaded. So they called you manly instead of looking into the windows of your soul and, and seeing the chaos that you never have time to sort out. Most likely because every day he fights a battle he never wanted to be in. All the while, you're giving each other broken pieces of what doesn't exist just to bring new souls into this curse. And the cycle starts all over again. Where does it stop? And then you have how we were demonized and made to feel like property. All in one breath, the bug breaking, 
to being pulled from homes, not just the fathers, but the children. Did you know that it became too expensive to continue to keep boating people from and transporting them from one continent to the next? So they began to make the women on the plantation have more children who were born into being owned by another human being. They were literally born to work. Which brings me to <clears throat> everyone saying it's being pushed down our throat in the media. I've almost never have hated anyone because of who they chose to sleep. Now let's talk, and I mean, let's really be real. Let's talk cisgender. And, and why women feel so slighted by the word, right? When you were born as sex, was assigned, male or female. You grew into yourself and realized, hey, that's not me. I'm not this. And you're going to respect it or hear me roar, rightfully so. You were fighting for you, right? So as a woman, knowing this is exactly who I am and all my femininity, the hormones, the emotions, the body changes, the first loves, the babies, the lives lost at the hands of lovers or just because I skirt was short. She was asking for it. Hell, because she was nice and smiled and he took it for more than that. Just that. A friendly smile. We're more alike than you think and extremely different than you'd even care to admit. Instead, we get fish. While you're offended by F-A-double-G word, however, when the radio comes on, every other word from a woman or the man are objectifying by your women. Now, don't get me wrong. They say things against the LGBTQIA+, or non-binary, or binary, but... Majority of the time, these days, if they do, cancel. Oh, but it's still perfectly normal to bash a black woman and go in your merry way. Just there penetrating you. You don't want to do nothing to him, and you don't want to pleasure him. So guess what? He's going to come to me or other transsexual women to pleasure him because he's into transsexuals. Whether you like it or not, straight man is into transsexual. They can bash us with you, but when you're not there, these straight man is all over this. I have one question for you, black boys. Why does it matter if he wants to sleep with a transsexual? Oh, God. Oh, Y'all smell that? That's misogyny. So I see. Um, has a stomach, has the butt work done, but she still has a wee-wee. Oh, and I'm talking from the 305. We do not um, condone that shit. Jimmy Smack is gay. Like, you know, I'm, I'm sorry, you know. That's not some shit that you were talking about. You woke up and you decided to do. No, bro, you done did that shit before. So this video that we're about to watch is Sasha's reaction to these comments. Now, before we watch this, um, a little bit of validation I'm piecing together. But to me, I wouldn't really feel complimented by a man approaching me in a dishonest way. That's not a positive thing. I do think that a lot of cis women have a hard time wrapping their minds around the fact that the men who date them also date us. I do think that that's something that a lot of people struggle to understand. Of course they would in a time where the men who date us often aren't comfortable telling people that they're dating us. What I think is interesting about Jimmy Smacks is that he's not hiding it. He is very loudly saying I sleep with trans women and in fact here is the trans woman that I'm sleeping with 
just not true. That's just not true. Most black people still date and marry black people. Here's the thing. In another one of Sasha's videos, she mentions that transphobia is violent. And I absolutely agree that a lot of times transphobia leads to violence, reinforces violence, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. My thing here is, how is what she's saying here not reinforcing the violence and bias against black women? How, how isn't it? This struggle is far from one-sided and definitely not an easy fix. Although, how will it ever change if nobody even wants to have the real conversation? Now, cisgender only means you match perfectly with your birth gender. Trans people use this term as opposed to the alternative of transgender or normal gender. This infers that they are abnormal. Now, for this tricking men topic, right? I mean, today there is really no need to hide. If I'm going to keep it a hundred, you know, a buck hurt and sent to the maker all because the undercover man didn't want anyone to find out. Now they like men. Whole time you living in your truth is ultimately the reason too many great lives have been taken. Or the guy that pushes down on the passing trans woman only to find no that's a male no disrespect intended for the sake of my point follow me embarrassment takes over and the thought of anybody finding out you push down he would never be able to take that not realizing you were attracted to a woman, not a man. So why would you be embarrassed if you're comfortable in your manhood? Make sense? Respect my position. I don't have to agree to respect your boundaries, but I do because I respect other people and who they are. So I must know that there are proper pronouns and terms that I must adhere to when I'm speaking to you, especially if I don't know your name, okay? Now, these pronouns are basically terms used to refer to a person that is not their name, right? So when it comes to the LGBTQIA, okay, non-binary, binary, gender, neutral, gender, fluid community, honey, there are certain uh, pronouns people like to be Referred to, okay? Now, if I mispronunciate any of these, please drop down in the comments so I'm prepared for the future and know how to, you know, pronounce them. But you get the gist of what I'm saying, okay? Now, in doing this, there's a respect that needs to be had for what you need to be called. That includes binary, non-binary. Lesbian, bisexual, transsexual, transgender, gay, she, shem, her, they, fire, they, heal, him, his, gender neutral, gender fluid, I, air, interchangeable with fay or fair, a, a, and m, per, and per, the and ver, ze and zem, you get it, etc. All we want is to just be women. 
to be respected for the fact that though you're not attracted to them, you came from them. Something only a woman can do. Why can't we live? Why can't we be happy in our womanhood? Why in order to build yourself up, do you have to then put down something that is my birthright? I've never had any hate for anyone who chose who they wanted to sleep with, okay? That is your business. As long as you're a good person, you ain't out here hurting children, out here wilding, may that be a uh, man, woman, non-binary, binary, whatever the case may be. If you not out here doing no devilish shit like that, who you choose to sleep with is your business, pleb. I've never not liked anyone, nor have I ever told any man to jump on anybody so this narrative, somewhere, we need to have this real conversation. And I would love to really go in depth and talk to someone who walked the walk. You know, because I am woman, I walk that walk. I am a woman. Even though I am bisexual, I wanted the family. I wanted to get married to a man. I love being a woman. I am good in that fact. This is who I was meant to be. Okay, so I get it. I want to get it more. You know what I'm saying? I want to see where you're coming from and I also want you to see where we're coming from. And if we can't come to at least a common ground, we can agree to disagree. Just respect me. It don't have to be that. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's already enough that the heterosexual men don't protect us. Period. We don't need the extra. Like, are you trying to fight a woman? You're, you still have that strength. You still have that, you know what I'm saying? Like, you... Understand that this is clear to us, okay? You still have those undertones of misogyny. The fact that you think in any way, shape, or form that I would ever be in competition with someone that there's no comp. We're not, we're two totally different people. You know what I'm saying? Like, not even talking about so like I'm not worried. I've never been worried. You feel what I'm saying? So yeah, I just wanted to open up some communication and open up the floor to let you know that it's all love here. It's never been anything but but I'm not going to be threatened and uh basically shamed for who I am, so you can be comfortable. How is that fair? When I was born this way, <laughs> just like you say, literally came out the womb as a woman, you understand? I uh, went through the transition of, of hormones and, and getting all the things that you get as a woman and transforming from not having boobs to having boobs and all the pains and all the things. You cannot say we don't transition. We don't transition in the same way. But damn it, we transition. Okay? So, this is me opening the floor to try to understand and to try to make a couple of you understand just a little bit more why some of us feel the way we feel. You know, because ignorance is still bliss. So there's a lot of people out there who say ignorant things and do ignorant things and all of the things. But you can't let those people speak for you, okay? 
You can't let those people speak for you. So um, at some point, we're going to have to come together and have the conversation. Even if it gets a little bit uncomfortable, we need to keep it classy, cute, and be able to hear each other's points of view. Okay? So if you have it, Anybody in mind that you would like to see me sit down with and have this conversation, honey, go on on ahead down in the description box, honey, and look for my email and go ahead and shoot me on over an email and I will check it out. And if it's you, you can shoot me an email too and we can talk about it and hash out how we're going to get together and have this little conversation. Let me stop. Later for me. Because I got to go. Bye.